Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm going to go through and just show you a quick rundown on how I leveled the bed. So for those of you that have seen some of my previous videos, you'll know that I just recently purchased the laser. Um, it's probably going on three, just over three weeks now that I've had it. Uh, for the first week or so, it was awesome. I couldn't, I couldn't fault it. Uh, it was cutting great. I didn't have any problems with anything. Uh, as time's gone on, uh, it's slowly now starting to not cut through all the materials. Uh, so it'll cut in some places and not in others. When I got the machine, I pulled it pretty much straight out of the box and just sort of got straight into it. You know, I did the ramp test to make sure that the focal point was correct. Um, but that was about it. I didn't bother aligning any of the mirrors or anything because just as soon as I did the first test cut, it cut through beautifully, like no problem at all. So, um, yeah, as time's gone on, as I just said, it's now sort of seems to be where it might, uh, anything that I seem to do in this, in this top left corner seems to cut really good. The more that I moved to the middle of the bed or even down to the right hand side of the bed here, it wasn't really cutting through the materials using the same powers and the same speed that I use. Um, and you could just sort of noticeably see that the, it wasn't actually cutting right through the material. Uh, so what I decided to do was sort of do a bit of a uh, test on how level or how flat uh, the bed was, which turned out that it wasn't very level at all. <laughs> so uh, what I've done at the moment is just sort of a bit of a quick fix really. And uh, if you just open up this section here, and I'll just show you down here, it might be a bit hard to see, but I've just put in some pieces of card cardboard under there just to pack it up. Cardboard obviously not being the best thing, being that it's a laser, as you can see there, it's burnt it a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna go through and sort of swap that out. Uh, but it was just temporary to see if it sort of fixed the problem. So I went around with a block. Um, I think you can, I think you can adjust them by doing something with with these things i'm not too sure yet i haven't really looked too much into it but basically uh what i did was i undid uh there's four screws on each corner of the bed and i took those four screws off and pulled the honeycomb bed out um and underneath there is obviously like i said is just that that lift bed i guess you call it and uh yeah basically what was happening was uh, well, I'll just quickly show you. So I'll just turn this, I'll turn this air assist thing on. I'll show you how I did it. But I basically got a, a block that was flat, and uh, I just moved, moved the laser head around to all these different positions, and basically popped that under there. So you can hear when I move it, the air, and then when I push it back under, it goes quite quiet. So I basically went around and I moved the laser to all different parts on the bed until I could slide that block under and not hear the air coming out of that nozzle. The part that was out the most, so I mean I've got it all, it's all pretty, pretty good at the moment. So no matter where I put the block, it sort of does quiet it down. But the worst part was right, so right about here. So right about there on the bed, where I would have it up in this back corner, it was nice and, I don't know, flush, I guess you would call it. And then when I moved it down into here, there was about, sorry, down into there, there was about probably a four mil gap so between this top left hand corner uh, anywhere in this top left hand corner I, I got it sort of level and then as i came through down here uh there was about a four mil gap there uh so obviously it was sort of dipping down in the middle and as i said obviously when i first got the machine i was cutting everything in this sort of back left hand top corner but uh the more that i started to do some of the bigger stuff um yeah, the more I sort of started to notice that it wasn't cutting all the way through. So, a um, bit of a quick fix just for the moment now. I did that. I, I uh, no matter where I put it now on the bed, it's all sort of, it's it's pretty it's pretty flat. But the bed was a hundred percent out of level. <laughs> so uh, I'm 
super glad that I did it because now that I have done that, all my cuts seem to be so much better. So I will, as I said, have to go through and, uh, and change those pieces of cardboard. Like I said, especially in the middle sort of section there. I've also got some uh, at the front that you can just sort of see down in there. Uh, so like I said, it's only cardboard at the moment just to pack it up to make sure that that was the issue. I threw something on there, cut it. No matter where I cut on the bed now, it cuts beautifully yet again. So probably, you know, my my fault for just assuming that, uh, you know, something straight out of China was just going to work. Um, but as I said, you know, it's just one of those things. So, um, yeah. The next thing I'm actually going to do is I'm... I'm, I'm well, I was going to do an alignment test, but I don't think I really need to at this point in time because everything is cutting really good, uh, and it was just that bed being out of alignment. So um, if you do get or decide to purchase one of these red and black CO2 lasers, um, you know, I would probably definitely recommend uh, making sure that that bed is level. Uh, so as I said, top left corner, everything was cutting good. Everything that I was sort of cutting in this area was, was really good. But when I started to do some more of the bigger stuff, things that were sort of coming down down in this area, um, it just wasn't cutting all the way through at the same power and the same speed. Um, probably need to give a bit of a thought to, to bowed materials. Um, I haven't quite figured out how to combat that yet, but I do try to make sure everything is straight that I put on there. But anything with a little bit of a bow in it can also affect... Uh, whether the laser cuts through it or not so um, but yeah I just sort of wanted to throw that on there because I have done a couple of videos now saying how good the machine was straight out of the box and obviously as time has gone on I've sort of started to find just uh, just a couple of little things but uh, for the main part that was uh, quite a big quite a big issue that one with the bed not being level so as I said I will go through and do it a bit more permanently uh, permanently and I, I do think that there is some adjustment that you can do um, rather than just sort of putting something in there but I, I do believe that I think you can undo do them bolts or something like that and then you can uh, make small adjustments to it like that so I'll probably look into that first and then if I can't sort of get that sorted then I'll uh, I'll probably end up looking at um, you know, it's putting some little, I don't know, pieces of aluminium or, but it seems to only sort of be a mill, two mil in areas, uh, except for in the middle there where I said, it was, it was literally dipping down and it was about, probably about four mil, I reckon, from, from this top left corner um, to the middle. It was about a four millimeter difference. So I guess when you're, when you're cutting with the laser, um, that makes all the difference as to whether it cuts through or not. So, but anyway, guys, uh, cheers. And uh, thanks for watching.